It's being called the Ring of Fire, a rare kind of solar eclipse that will happen around sunrise tomorrow. And one of my favorite Johnny Cash songs. And much <laughs> of the country will have a chance to see the partial eclipse of the sun. Meteorologist Ray Petlin, our resident star watcher, explains what you can expect. Ray. Is that a fancy way of saying nerd? <laughs> Geek. <laughs> well, actually, the solar eclipse is something that's very exciting. And as it was mentioned, it was called the Ring of Fire. The technical name is Annular Eclipse. And what it means is that the moon is far enough away from the Earth where it appears smaller than the sun in the sky. And with that being the case, as it passes in front of the sun, it makes that ring of fire. And if you're going to ever try to see anything involving the sun, including eclipses, make sure you have the proper eye protection to do so. So we know it's something really cool and something neat to see. So how will this work for Pittsburgh? Well, First and foremost, our solar eclipse, if we go to the graphics, uh, is going to start off at 4.42 a.m. Obviously, our sun hasn't come up yet. The total eclipse is at 5.36, while our sunrise is at 5.49. So at sunrise, if the uh, clouds cooperate, you're going to be able to actually see some of this going down. And at 6.32, this is where it's going to come to an end. So this is going to be an early morning event for us. And when it comes to our area, we fall in in the part that we'll see about 60% of the sun covered up because of the timing of this coming up after sunrise. So when it comes down to it, we have the potential to see 60%, but will the weather cooperate? Yeah. In true Pittsburgh fashion, we are going to fall under the likely poor visibility for this one with some cloud cover nearby. But should the clouds break up, this is certainly something you'll want to get out and see if you have the proper eye protection. But as it stands right now, it's looking to be on the cloudier side of things for the morning. But if you get a little part in the clouds, you can certainly see something cool.